Boys, before I come to another video here on the channel, everything you need to know about Kayo. I gotta be honest, I think it's gonna be my new main because you can pretty much control a whole area by yourself and entry for your team with these characters. It's absolutely incredible. One of the key things that I was theory crafting here uh, is how to hold with Kayo. So the first thing that I thought uh, that you can do is the pop flash. One thing, there's three speeds with the flash, not only two. A lot of people gonna think there's only two, but there's this one, you just throw like this. There's a second one with the right foot, like this. and the third one is the one that you jump and throw. It's gonna be right above me. And this one is stronger because if you can jump throw, it's gonna blow, bang, you peek at the same time. This is super strong. Another thing that I think is gonna be super useful is the E ability because my friend here, FRTTT, I, I was here with him and we were theory, theory crafting uh, the E ability. So the E ability is like a knife and if he's inside of here, uh, Aladdin or a lamps, you can throw the knife here. And in, when he's inside, he's gonna be like, pretty much suppressed. Like no, he cannot use any of his abilities. So, for example, if there's a race player here trying to hold, or let's say the round just started and there's a sage, he just did the wall here. At the same time that he did the wall, you throw your knife like around here. You're gonna be able to suppress him. You won't be able to throw the ice to stop your teammates to, to rush. And you're gonna be able to take control of the whole site at the same time. So it's super, super strong. And the, the jump throw knife, yo, FRTT, stay here. There. See over there? there. Okay. I'm gonna try I'm gonna try to jump throw flash. And P, look at this. He's completely blind. And if you jump throw the flash, it goes further away. So if I do like this, jump throw, flash. look how it pretty much goes right over there. So you have this different distances, right? So if I don't jump, it goes like this. And if I aim the same exact spot, if I jump, it goes way further away. Like this. So it's super strong, man. It's super, super strong. Another thing is that you have the C ability, which is like an orb that there's like different types of damages. For example, this area is damage, this area is damage. Like, as further you are from the from the center of the ball, it's gonna do less damage. So if you're in the exact center, it's gonna be like 60 to 70 damage. If you're like further away, so from here is like 100 damage per minute. If it's an enemy orb, of course. So it's really good to stop plants. So for example, I was around here and I just found this pixel here. You aim over here. Flag it. It goes exactly where you plant, right? So this is a way to stop the plant. It's super strong. Another thing, uh, for example, if you want to take control of B, B long, for example, this character, you can take control of anything that you want with this character. It's, it's crazy because the E ability give you this, uh, it, it kind of give you this permission, but people can destroy the E. So if you throw your knife and someone shoot the knife, it's going to get destroyed, right? So normally, for example, if I want to take control of hookah, I will throw Shut there. It's gonna clear all the traps over here. If there's cipher traps, it's gonna if there are uh, killjoy traps, it's gonna disable all the traps. You're gonna be able to go in and clear this. At the same time, if there's a guy, uh, let's say you plant the bomb here, there's a guy defusing it. You can get a pixel because the knife goes through like very small edges. So for example, this edge, the knife Shutting goes through, down. through here. Look at this. Okay. So you're gonna be able to disable all the enemy's ability inside. So if there's an omen, he's not gonna be able to smoke for like seven seconds, 14 seconds. I don't even know exactly how many times it is. Link check. It doesn't tell how many times it is. So FRTT gonna stay inside. I'm gonna throw the E here. Suppressing. They're suppressed. Seven seconds. Okay, so with seven seconds, you can do another play. So you can throw a flashbang right flashbang. here. Bang. I don't know if he flashed him. He was too, too high, right? What about this one? Flash. No. Yo, this... Let me try. What if I threw like this? Flash bang. That's, a, that's a good one? Flash. Oh. Flash bang. Wait, wait, wait. Flash. Look at this. I'm gonna do it again. Flash. Good. In the hole over there. Flash bang. Oh, there Dude, there's so many places you can do with this character. It's crazy. Try, try to throw a flash bang there in the hole. 
Oh, that's good. Seriously. Plant the spike. I try to do something. Flashbang. Yo, this flash is crazy. Flash. Oh my god. Okay, this is pretty crazy. It's right, it's right over there. Like this. Flashbang. You gotta jump throw, you know. No, no, no. You gotta be uh, higher. Yeah, oh my god, that's so good. Wow. You gotta be close and jump and throw like so, so like this. Flashbang. Yeah, you gotta jump. In the middle of the jump, you gotta throw because that way it goes faster. Dragon. Yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. Yeah, yo, this one is the best flash ever. Wow. He's so good. He's so good. Flash. Flashbang. Wow. Flash. That's crazy. Yeah, so KO is pretty mad, man. I honestly, and hit the ult, uh, you can disable everyone. Okay, so for example, I'm gonna stay inside like I'm defending, and out of a sudden, look what's gonna happen. Fire in the hole. No one walks away. He, he is completely disabled and he loses his ult. So he can't have the ult back or anything like this. It's so strong because you're going to be able to deal uh, against Sova ults, for example. If he's in the. Is, if he, Sova is in my range and he's ulting, I'm going to be able to disable his ult. I'm going to be able to disable all the Killjoy traps if you want to flank, for example. It's so strong. That's why I think this character is going to be meta. And the flashbangs are amazing. Like you guys saw, I think this flashbang is going to be one of the best things. For example, if. If the enemy is coming, you hear someone coming out of the spawn go like this. Or jump flash. Up. You can peek at the same time with the flash. So in CS, there's a play in CS that you can throw the flashbang where it's not gonna be in your sight. For example, let's say they're gonna push uh, hookah. You throw the flashbang like flash. right here and peek at the same time. It's not gonna be in your sight, it's not gonna blind you, but it's gonna blind the enemy completely. So pop flashes is gonna be super useful. So pop flash like this. Flashbang! Jump like this. Jump jump. Flashbang! Yeah, that's that's a good one if they're pushing the side. Jump flash. like this and be here. Jump flash. Flash. Flashbang! Flashbang! Yeah, that's a good one. There's a lot of good flash wings you can do, it's crazy. Flash! Oh, that's a good one too. Fire in the hole! Flashbang! So yeah, that's Fire KO. The There's gonna be gameplay, KO gameplay Fire today actually is gonna be some gameplay. Uh, so if you guys wanna check it out, please subscribe if you're new here in the channel. There's always a new video every single day, uh, every single weekly, a weekday actually in the channel. Uh, don't forget to drop your like, really helps me. And if you're watching until you're here, comments, KO is a P. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.